Hello everyone and welcome to another World War Z video guide. Today we are moving forward in the snowy Moscow at the third level Battle of Nerves. This is by far one of the hardest levels we have done in World War Z and it lives up to its name so be ready for a true Battle of Nerves and hopefully some of my tips and guides here will help you do it easier especially when you will do it with the bots. Here you will find the first potential bridge in charge location and it's really important to find at least one bridge in charge that will help us defend against the first swarm as it's, uh, it's quite difficult because we lack a lot of resources. It's very important to save the first bridge in charge and blow it up later on a door I will show you as it, will, uh, it has the best chances to get us the best resources we can find. As for the recommended classes, I tried many different and in my opinion, due to the difficulty for the first swarm and moving in between, I recommend to use the Hellraiser with the C4 and here Kitty Talent because they prove very helpful. But the build is a little different, I will explain to you why in a little bit. As you will see now, the second potential bridge in charge location here, which is also very important in case you haven't found the first. As for the Hellraiser, we do not expect to have the grenade launcher, we will have an improved MGL and I recommend to start with a tier 2 weapon, the tier 2 shotgun and not with a wheat grass because the chances of fighting a tier 2 weapon for the first swarm are quite slim and the shotgun will help us to navigate through the first swarm and in between the other levels. Here you see the third potential bridge in charge location for the first part. It's very important we blow up this door and do not move any closer because we will start uh, the countdown but if we remain close to the stairs and blow up the door the bots and Vitlana will follow us we will not trigger a, a countdown and we will have all the time of the need we need to fend off the first attack that we have made noise from the bridging charts and to set up defenses easier. For this attack you can expect uh, some Zik to come from behind and from, uh, from here from front. Sometimes some special Zeke may spawn, usually a gas bug, um, sometimes an infector and occasionally a bull. Most of the times it was just a gas bug or nothing else. And of course the, our friend the creeper will be inside the bridging door most of the times waiting for us. You can just kill him and uh, be, be done with it. This first part as I told you is one of the hardest for the level and it's very important for us to have the proper defenses. The two best defenses you can have is first a voltage grid and second a heavy machine gun. The voltage grid is the one, number one priority and I will show you where to place it and why because the bots here will take standard positions, one on the right, one on top and one in front of Svitlana and we need to place the voltage grid on the right because most of the Zik are come that way and um, it's a very difficult position to defend otherwise. I also highly recommend to place, as you saw, the heavy machine gun on the right, as the right is the most heavy attacked position, and immediately start the combat, because if you wait 30 seconds, you will have to deal with an in-between attack. Sometimes a screamer may spawn inside this cave, you see. You can use your MGL, because the bomb will bounce through the door. One or two shots are more than enough to kill the screamer, without having to worry about anything else. You can use your heavy machine gun to deal with some Zeke on the right, just be careful don't hit your bot, because it's, he's a quite an idiot. If an infector goes down, he will move to melee him, so be careful about that. It's also very important to remember, when you use your heavy machine gun here, do not rely on your bot on your left to cover you, even if it's one or two Zeke. Make sure no Zeke are attacking from behind, you have to do and you have to kill them yourself before using the heavy machine gun. The attacks on the left are not as big as the attacks on the right. You can use your hair kitty if you see some more than more zig that you can handle come. You can expect them to come near to finish them with your shotgun. Just make sure if you have a C4 supply bag near you, then you can be more generous when you're using your, um, your C4. Otherwise, save at least one C4 to deal with the bulls. And since you do not have uh, the grenade launcher, you can either use one C4 and one, one MGL shot, or use one C4, shoot the bull with a shotgun three or four times, and then trigger the C4 explosion. 
because the C4 and here Kitty will render the bull um, immobile for around 5 seconds, which gives you plenty of time to hit him without having any problems. The heavy shotgun, the tier 2 shotgun we have from the Hell Laser, is very powerful but only in short range. That's why when we have 30 seconds left, you can move on the right especially or the left when the, most of the attacks will occur, so you can finish off the Zeke easier. If the attacks come from the right, which is the most usual place, you can take advantage of the voltage grid, deal with the Zeke as fast as you can, don't save your heavy weapon, just deal with the Zeke if you can as fast as possible, and if the timer runs out, do not rush things, just finish off all the Zeke you see before proceeding. The very simple reason we do this is because it's not guarantee that as we move for the last swarm, we will be able to find a resupply for our tier 2 weapon and we have to make sure we have resupplied our tier 2 weapon, our C4 explosions and probably ideally found a new heavy weapon, another MGL or a payload rifle. If you find an RPG, avoid it. I prefer to have a payload rifle or an MGL to be able to deal with the turrets that we find on the way or with the bulls that we may found uh, as we move. In case you got lucky and you find another tier 2 weapon, I do recommend to keep the shotgun because it's very effective as most of the Zeke we will be fighting as we move for the last part are in close range and the shotgun is just ideal for to do this. For the secondary weapon, my primary choice will be a machine pistol or the regular pistol because sometimes we have to kill some auto turrets silently and these are the ideal choices and uh, secondary shotgun or secondary grenade launcher are not uh, as good to do this job uh, as the pistols. The only exception to the rule for a secondary weapon is in case you get lucky and find a flare gun then use it definitely, it will help you navigate through the, these parts and just keep killing the auto turrets with your heavy weapon or if you, if you have another tier 2 weapon uh, with a long range. As you see here, the fight goes on a little bit longer than expected, but don't worry about it, in the end uh, the Zeke will stop coming, you will have the time to resupply, especially for your tier 2 weapon, you have the time to check here on your left if there are any supplies uh, for a supply bag, uh, any medkit, or any new heavy weapon you will find, and in case you find some resources you need, then you will be able to just uh, run to the next part when uh, you will be safe for a while. Just be a little careful, in case you already have a supply bag, a med kit, uh, don't risk it because the attacks may continue as you see here, just run for the door, and the only condition for you to proceed is Vitlana has to come in, and the boats will teleport uh, along with you. And here is an ideal location for you to reset the bot's health before opening the door, because as soon as you open the door, the bots uh, will respawn. And here is another hard part of the mission, uh, because many attacks will may occur, and I don't know what are the conditions, sometimes you will make noise, and a small attack will occur, sometimes you may not make noise at all, and a big attack may come with many special, with a screamer, and stuff. Here is another bridge in charge location and I think one or more two bridge in charge locations are in front but in my honest opinion I don't open any other bridge in doors here because I don't find an opportunity and even if I do so I, do, I definitely want to avoid making noise because I want to avoid any unnecessary attacks because as you try to gain more resources you have to spend them by fighting the additional Zeke you will spawn so it's a vicious cycle that I try to avoid and it's unnecessary because in the last part it's 100% guaranteed to find one or two tier 3 weapons, one or two heavy weapons and two or three supply bags. Here we have one of the ideal scenarios that the auto turrets have spawned here and we just have to wait in this spot for the same very simple reason. If an attack happens, you rarely have to fight your weapons unless you find some special Zeke because your bots will be able to kill all the Zeke as they come no Zeke will spawn from behind if you stay up here and all the Zeke will come from the front. But it's a very peculiar place, many times I have tried this level, even if the auto turrets are here, if we make noise, as you see no major attacks have spawned, so I have to just wait to see if the Zeke uh, come, uh, have to be ready and I only proceed further when the bots have uh, 
their pistols and go to stealth mode. Proceed with extreme caution and in case you have the slight idea that attack comes, go back to the place Rasid. It's one of the best places to defend against a swarm. Here is another potential bridge in this location, but it's at your own risk. Here on the right is a door and we will find another door as we proceed further. Two doors, sorry. But as I told you, I don't recommend to open any of the doors. As soon as you arrive at this spot, be careful sometimes. Auto turrets may be on the right. You can either disarm them or destroy them, but any, in any case, if you have the time, open the elevator, otherwise uh, go here, because this is another second place you can defend against an attack. Uh, even if the attack occurs before opening the elevator, don't risk it, just run inside here, start killing the Zeke, don't rely only on the bots, it's a very short range and your bots will not be able to handle off the Zeke. Empty probably half of your... Uh, of your uh, shotgun and keep shooting. Here is a very nice uh, uh, example why the bots are an idiots. An infector was down and on top of the infector was a bull and some zig and he just rushed in there when I also shot the C4. It was lucky because I had to fire the C4 to kill the zig and he didn't die for some reason. You have to make sure to save at least one C4 because the most common uh, reason for you to wipe are the bombers especially when they come with a lot of Zeke, they will be very hard to get them down, so once C4 with your kitty will stall them, and if you trigger it, uh, the bomber will explode and kill more Zeke, and you will, most uh, important, avoid the wipe. Here is your last chance to reset your bot's health to take them down, because as soon as you proceed the elevator, all the dead bots will respawn, and there will no longer be a respawn point um, as for longer. You have to be prepared here for an auto turret. You have, I suggest, to use your heavy weapon to take it down and uh, defend against the attack on top of uh, the stairs here because there will be only two choke points because inside here it's most likely a wipe. Otherwise, if you do not see an attack, just move forward. Don't just wait for the attack. Here it's a race against the time and the longer you wait, the harder things may become. As soon as you enter the room, you have to be aware, sometimes you will see two red dots, meaning that two auto turrets are here, I will show you an example how to deal with them later. In case they are not, be aware of the corners, a creeper may be hiding there, and in case the attack comes, as you see here, it's a, a very bad scenario, but it's not impossible, kill the Zeke that are coming from the door as soon as possible, and uh, go and uh, hide here, as you see, because it's a very nice shock point, that the Zeke will be coming, most of the Zeke will be coming from this tunnel and the very few may come from the left. You just have to stay here and finish off all the Zeke that are coming. Don't just um, rush things because uh, as you move forward the Zeke may, may come from two directions and it will be quite uh, hard for you to defend. Also, don't fall in the trap to open the breaching door here on the right. As I told you, you will try to get more resources by wasting resources because in this part, the longer you wait, the more attacks will happen and as soon as all the Zeke are dead, you just have to keep moving forward to avoid getting any extra attacks and getting in the middle of too many Zeke. From here on out, be extra careful for the creepers for both left or right because many times, uh, I think three or four creepers spawn one after the other and it's a very common uh, place uh, for you to wipe. Just see if you find, as you saw here, a supply bag, throw it behind to stall any Zik that are attacking, try to kill the creepers here on the left and the right, and as you arrive here, be careful as you saw two creepers just uh, spawn one after the other. This is the last uh, chance to here uh, reset the bot's health, but if you, do, if you get an attack, just ignore it and run for it uh, as soon as you run in this, uh, in this room and activate the computer then you will be safe uh, for you to just wait. You may wonder why not use a fixer, because in this part the fixer will make things easier, but it's quite a gamble, because if you do not find enough supply bags for you to keep running and getting stealth, then you risk the chance for you to wipe before arriving to this room. Now, remembering a little back, if you go and see two red dots, you have to deal with two auto turrets here. One way is to just try and kill them with a heavy weapon, which I don't like, the second part, especially if you're getting attacked by Zeke, is to run in a zigzag, as you see here, 
uh, you will be able to most likely avoid most of, most of the attacks. And once you are behind the auto turrets, you will be safe. You don't have to kill them. They will just keep covering you and killing the Zeke while you will be able to escape safely. Just don't do the same thing I did here. Save at least one C4 explosive in case you get attacked by a bull unless you have a payload rifle which is the ideal weapon against, uh, against the bulls. Otherwise you just have to keep running as, you, as I told you. Here is a very good location to start running even faster. Thus you have to be aware about the creepers that may lurk here on its corner. Sometimes a creeper may be inside the room, be careful about that. And as soon as you are here, the bots uh, will spawn and you are safe to proceed for the next part and the last part. You have to be extra careful here. If you kill the bots, they will no longer respawn for these parts. And the only thing you can do is wait inside the door here uh, because in order to proceed to the next part, you have to press the, the button manually and you cannot get attacked, you can wait as long as you do as you need and I do recommend to have all your bots alive when you enter here. Inside this room there is an invisible timer for you to get attacked by a small swarm so I do recommend to move as fast as you can find the resupply crate that uh, the tier 3 weapon is available either on the left or the right on the center find a uh, heavy weapon if you don't have resupply your, uh, your equipment and find defenses, one or two auto turrets should be here available and do not place them immediately, the auto turrets see the location to find the first and see where is the second, if there is one second around here some uh, Zig UVC will spawn but the bots will be in stealth mode, you will be able to kill them you have to assist the bots uh, heavily here because they are not uh, able to solo them all the, uh, all the Zig meaning you have to kill as many as you can with, using your tier 3 weapon with a silencer and after that, after all the Zik are dead and you have located the two or three auto turrets depending on your luck, you have to, to place them. During your whole time here, even as the swarm at, uh, starts, be aware that creepers may be hiding, especially in these corners and in the opposite side. So be extra careful as you move around. And here you will see I was not as lucky, I found only one auto turret. So I just start the swarm by pressing this. Uh, this button and this is the most important auto turret most of the zig will be coming from the front and it's a major point to to have it for defenses the zig will be attacking from three different points from the front that may drop from the ceiling from the right or the left and the fourth point it's uh, the swarm attack that will be coming either from the bottom uh, as you see right or left it's extremely important to kill the zig as they drop by or the left or right as soon as you can in order to you, for you to be able to move uh, and push the buttons you will need to press 5 buttons in total and you have to be a little bit aware of their locations but before moving a little bit in detail about their locations the priorities are to kill the Zig that are on top it's a highest priority, especially the special Zig, the bulls and then you just need to drop the, the pyramids here if you can, do not wipe the pyramid completely because the Zig uh, will come endlessly. Even if you kill the pyramid here, another pyramid will spawn and uh, that uh, there is no end to them. So it's better if you can to just drop the pyramid, kill as many as Zig you can before they go up. And then you have to worry about the, uh, the buttons. I like to stay in defense here. You have visibility for all the Zig that are coming, for the pyramid, you can resupply a restock the auto turret which is a very important uh, defense item to help you and you just have to be a little bit aware as I told you about the buttons you have to press there are a lot of buttons, potential buttons for you to press you will get an indicator for what button you have to press you don't have a timer but make sure you don't press the wrong button because the sequence will reset and uh, increase the chances for a wipe uh, especially as long as you drag the fight it will be harder, the Zik are come endlessly so you have to put the correct sequence and be able to defend. You have to remember a little bit about the, uh, the buttons. On your right there is the B button, behind us there is the A button, on our left, hard left is the E button and on our little left, not hard left, is the H button. There are four additional buttons, potential buttons in front of us, uh, the C1 or 2 and the K1 or 2. The K, cap the K buttons are on the left 
and the R and the C buttons are on the right. As you see, the key one is uh, in the front and the key two is on the back. And it's the same uh, thing if you go for the C1 or C2 buttons. Additional tips is to save your C4 to handle many Zig that are near the buttons you need to go and kill. Save your heavy weapons to deal with the bulls and thin the, the pyramids. As soon as you arrive to the fourth, go for the fourth button. You just destroy all the pyramids you see as soon as you can and go and replace your heavy weapons if they are near you. And as soon as you are on the fifth, uh, uh, the fifth button and you press it, stay near here. As soon as you press the button, the mission is complete, even if you are overwhelmed, even if everyone is down, uh, you will complete the level without any problem. So to recap for the last part, make sure you are a little bit aware of the overall location for the buttons. Make sure to kill all the Zeke that are coming from the top. As soon as they drop, just be aware for the locations. Restock your auto turrets that will help you a lot with the defense. Save your C4 for either the bulls or when you have to move to the buttons and to deal with a lot of zig that are dropping by. And do not nuke the first three for the first three buttons. Do not nuke the pyramids. Just kill them if you can uh, with your tier three weapon. Thin them out with one or two shots for with your heavy weapon. And as soon as you arrive to the third and you go for the fourth button, completely start destroying the pyramids while you restock your heavy weapons to make things easier and also be aware to kill the Zeke that are dropping uh, around the area. The perfect timing to restock your ammo, uh, replace your heavy weapon, uh, restock your supply, your supplies is when you move usually to the, to the buttons, especially to the C or K uh, capsules. Uh, behind them there is usually a heavy weapon uh, or the resupply crate or supply bag, so make sure as you go and uh, you press the buttons during the fight, you go and resupply um, any of uh, your equipment and resources. I'm sorry to repeat this one last time. Make sure to destroy uh, the most of the Zig because it's very easy to get overwhelmed if you neglect the pyramid and let it just go by. If you let the Zig that are dropped from the ceiling over the left on the right charge you, you will be easily overwhelmed from many directions. You will not be able to defend, your bots will go down, causing once again the chain reaction. And also be extra careful for the bombers, usually they drop by the front or the left or the right, they drop from above, and especially the bulls, that's why you have to save at least once before for those situations. But don't worry, as you see here around, uh, on the left, the right and near the buttons, there are many supply bags, in which you will be able to replenish your equipment uh, as you run around the level and push in the buttons. If you use a fixer for the last part, Unfortunately, you will not be able to give the entire team the masking effect, that's why I don't recommend it, because the bots once again will be in standard positions, not too close to each other, and you cannot take advantage of your gas, of your masking grenades uh, in the fullest. If you want to go in a more stealth approach, a medic is an option, but it's very easy to get overwhelmed, your bots will definitely die, you won't be able most likely to kill uh, all the Zik, and you have to get a little lucky to get extra supply bags when you open supply crates in order to find more than enough uh, stems to have enough stealth to go through the entire level without dying. As I mentioned in the beginning, this is a true battle of nerves, so don't worry if you fail a couple of times. As soon as you get used to the tactics, how to move through the level, you will be able to get there and I'm very confident that you will be able to complete the level. As always, don't hesitate to leave your comments and any suggestions you may have, uh, especially if they help our fellow survivors. Thank you very much for watching, I wish you all Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays and a wonderful day.
in charge to expel the nerve agent into Moscow thanks to you in six months it'll be safe to take our city back <laughs> 